Hey guys, it's Andre from the High Performance Academy. We're here with Ricardo from Alien Tech. He's come all the way from Italy and uh, Alien Tech is a tuning solution for modern cars. It's a, a system where they allow us to reprogram the factory ECU. Now Ricardo, I just wanted to talk to you about some of those challenges. Now cars are getting smarter these days, the ECUs are getting much more complicated. How are Alien Tech uh, combating that? We have different solutions to solve the problem about the checksum correction and about the, I mean, the new chances to read completely the ECUs. It's possible to read the files from OBD2 or read directly from the microcontroller interface, place it on the printed circuit board. So let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, from basically earlier cars with OBD2 support, we've been able to reprogram those directly through the OBD2 connector. That's nice and simple. It's really clean and tidy for the tuner. And uh, these days, some of the more modern computers, that's not possible. That's correct? Yes, yes. Okay, so with those, those computers where we can't program through the OBD2 port, what's our solution there? How do we go about programming the controller on those ECUs? The other solution is just open the ECU and just uh, connecting with the uh, K-Tag is our of our uh, devices directly the, to the... The K-Tag, that, that's your, uh, your proprietary system, correct? Yes. So you've got a uh, structure or a, a support that uh, allows you to program and connect direct up to the, the board inside the ECU? Yes, of course. It's possible to solder directly uh, some small printed circuit board the adapter to the K-Tag, or just there is that positioning frame, so a simple solution to just uh, lay the printed circuit board on the positioning frame and just connecting a spring ping adapter, so it's simple to face with the ECU. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about checksums and checksum validation because that's another hurdle basically thrown at you by the, the current manufacturers. It's making it a little bit harder. So tell us a little bit about what that means if, you, if that checksum validation doesn't work. What happens? Yes, basically with the new generation of the Bosch ECUs, they keep it with the Infineon Tricore microcontroller. Uh, now it takes longer to correct the checksum during the flashing procedure of the modified files. Uh, it depends on the, I mean, especially on the manufacturer of the ECU and sometimes on to the manufacturer of the car because of course the protection now is very complicated and the car manufacturers requires more. They're basically making it harder and harder for you to do your job and give us tuning solutions in the aftermarket. Now, these things have become more complicated even over the last few years. Do you see, obviously they're throwing more hurdles at you, um, are we still going to be able to reflash factory ECUs say in another five years time? Yes, yes. What techniques, once you've actually got into the ECU, you've downloaded the, uh, the base file out of the ECU, what are you guys at Alien Tech, how are you reverse engineering that to give a graphical user interface that the, the end of line tuner can actually use to adjust fuel and ignition maps. How do, you, how do you reverse that code? Basically, once you read the stock original file from the, the ECU, it's possible to load the stock original file with our software. It's called ECM Titanium. Basically, this software works uh, uh, searching. When you load the stock original file, the software search the specific driver, so the specific um, description file with the complete list of the available maps. Injections, turbo, Spark Advance, it depends on the specific engine. So that, that's basically breaking that down and, and telling the, well, you, you're, you're locating, say, the fuel map by the address inside that, that whole file? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, well look, that's been really interesting, Ricardo. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to us and um, hopefully we'll look forward to support for reflashing factory issues for a long time in the future. Thank you, thank you very much. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.